Hi all, welcome to EasyTech. Today we will discuss about data warehousing concepts. We have distributed the data warehousing concepts into 7 sessions. Today we will discuss about session 1. Session 1 will contain the operational system, the idea about operational system. This is nothing but the start of data warehouse, which system which provides data to the data warehouse. What are the characteristics of operational system? What is data warehousing? We just call data warehouse, data warehouse, data warehouse. What exactly it is? How it works? And why data warehousing? We spend a lot of money on building data warehouse. What is the purpose? What is the benefit we are getting out of it? Then the characteristics of data warehouse how the ideal data warehouse should be what are the characteristics it should have let's talk about operational system an operational system is a term which is used for a system which is used to process day-to-day -day transactions for an organization so gen so it is a system which is used for day-to-day -day transaction of an organization so this is kind of a technical definition let's talk about an example let's try to get the idea with an example everyone knows the credit card right so whenever you swap that credit card for any purchase does it get through no it will not it will pop up with something like enter the pin or authorization process or if you are doing an online transactions it will ask you the OTP so what exactly it is when you when it asks the pin or the OTP that is nothing but the authorization process so whenever a credit card transaction is happening you need to have that authorization process in place so that authorization process is nothing but it's managed by the operational system so to have that day-to-day -day transactions about the credit card we need that authorization process in place so basically the operational system are designed to have the easiness in your day-to-day -day transactions and maintain the integrity of your data there are other uh, naming conventions which being used in the industry uh, for the operational system they are nothing but like operational database then transactional processing system and online transactional processing system which is OLTP you'll hear this term lot many times Let's take an example of an organization and what the probably operational system would be for that organization. So manufacturing company, so any manufacturing company for them it's kind of a product information which is a operational data for a bank it's account information, a credit card that is authorization data we just discussed about that, ATM withdrawals money withdrawals okay now let's talk about the characteristics of operational system the first and basic characteristics it should have is concurrency what do you mean by concurrency it's a, it's a multiple transaction at the same time like and for the credit card if multiple users are doing the same are doing the transaction at the same point in time it should not fail it should ask for the authorization process and if they provide the correct information it should succeed so that is concurrency multiple transactions at the same time second is consistency consistency is nothing but a same data same environment produces the same result at the start of 20s 
there are two legends in the cricket okay one is uh, rahul dravid this is from india it's the best player best test player we have in india and the shoaib akhtar it's a it's the fastest bowler in the world he's from pakistan so there is a joke always around uh, with these two players when they are playing a test cricket everyone tests their patience i mean rahul dravid used to test the patience every time shoaib akhtar starts his uh, run up and uh, throw a ball at 140 km per hour and rahul dravid just leaves it silently so every time he, he does the bowling he leaves the ball so it's a kind of at the same same data same environment will get same result he'll bowl he shoaib akhtar will bowl rahul dravid will leave and end result It, the ball will go to the keeper jokes apart but consistency is nothing but same result when we have same data and same environment in place okay third is reliability reliability is nothing but trust what they of performing consistent consistently well so our operational system should be designed in such a way that it should be reliable it should maintain the integrity then it support it should support high volume users or transactions like credit card you know that india is a very uh, uh, in, uh, india's population is like 130 crore more than that and um, the users of the credit cards for any bank it's they are in billions so every time the system should support multiple users and high volume data and then the last is nothing but predefined access paths any questions let's talk about data warehousing what is data warehouse simply as per the definition it's a kind of a database which is moduled or fine tuned for the analysis purpose or it's a decision support database which separately maintained from your operational system or oltp another one definition it's a strategic collection of all types of data in support of decision making process or it's a physical repository where relational data are specially organized to provide enterprise wide clean data in a standardized format so overall one in all it's a short definition it's kind of a system which helps us and making the decision with the help of data it has so data warehouse is a system which is used for the decision making so it gives some input some information to the analyst or to the business and from that data analyst takes a decision for an organization okay so at a glance high level glance what is data warehouse if you look at the left side we have the operational system which we discussed at earlier it feeds the information it gives the data to the data warehouse in between you'll see these arrows that arrows contains a etl word that etl word is nothing but the extraction transformation and loading etl is a process we'll talk in detail on etl so that process loads the information from operational systems to the staging area and then from there to data warehouse and then after that we'll have the data marts and strategic marts just ignore them at this moment we'll discuss about them in the later sessions now how it works 
how data warehouse works so if you look at the process is pretty much same operational data first part it provides us the information then the ETL do the data fusion data cleaning or data scrubbing via the business rules whatever the business rule says that we want uh, all the uh, information except any criteria so the criteria which is defined by business my data should meet that criteria then only we push that information ahead and that data information is being loaded into the data warehouse periodically and if you see, uh, see the uh, left most corner you'll see a man which is in the picture which is a kind of analyst who is just querying the database and uh, fetching the information for an organization so he fetches the uh, he gives some queries and get the data and the output will be used by the business for their analysis purpose got it this is kind of overview high overview high level overview major question why data warehousing not many times we are working on the data warehousing but we still don't know why we are building a data warehouse any organization are spending huge amount of money for building a data warehouse they are not fools they are building it for a purpose right so what is that purpose why they are investing a huge money for building a data warehouse it is nothing but they should know what is going good which product is going bad where is uh, which area is very effective uh, in terms of sales which area is not doing good in sales which are my customers they are likely to go to use the competitors which are my uh, high scale customers like one who is paying uh, thousand bucks every month oh that customer is really valuable for me so we should care for them right so all all these questions if we don't have the data warehouse will not able to make it because we don't have the data to answer my queries okay so if you talk about data warehouse what it gives it gives the enhanced business intelligence what do you mean by that that is nothing but the decision supportive information which we are talking the questions which we had in the previous slide answers to them will be in terms of data and that provides by the data warehouse then all in one we have different OLTP systems which provides us the information about an organization and that data should be stored in a data warehouse they should be merged integrated to have a single version of truth for a data warehouse the next is retention of data history so data warehouse contains the information about four to five years so basically it all depends how much information we want to store so it stores information the periodical time what are the changes how many uh, transactions you did in last two years so all we can get it through the data warehousing disaster recovery implications when when it comes to the disaster recovery data warehouse is really good in terms of 
providing the security for the data house. Data house provides historical intelligence. It's we have strategic advantages or competitors. So once we are very well aware about what's going wrong, where we go, we are doing good, where we are not doing good, we can take a decisions and get a benefit over the competitors. And it's a replacement of older or less responsive decision support system. So earlier it was like uh, through all the way we just uh, push the notification like we want this information and uh, it takes a long time to get a response from the all users who is well aware about that area and he provides us the information and then we took the decision on top of that so that is very older less responsive systems for the decision making now with the help of data warehouse you just queries the data warehouse we have historical information about our organization and we just get the more accurate data by which you can take a decision so got a data warehousing why data warehousing let me explain with the uh, another real time example of data warehousing how we use as that data warehouse okay do you know about uh, 911 which is happened in the mumbai india so there was an attack on the taj hotel it was terrible so many people lost their near ones, the relatives, the friends, the mother, the father. But there are some people who got benefit out of that. How? Who are they? They are nothing but the Indian telecom companies. How? Let's take an example. Consider a scenario. On that day, particular day, there are a lot many people who are in Mumbai which came from the other side of world or there are some people who stays in the other side of world their relatives or their uh, near ones stays in Mumbai so as soon as it's the terrible thing happens everyone was like wanted their near ones to be safe so they are just calling to each other they are just doing a sing single call are you are you safe so in that thread what telecom companies did like they have took all the numbers which got a call from the other side of world or they have called to the other side of world except India so now I got this potential users who can buy my product which is something like if uh, 40 bucks product which will give you 10 minutes or a 30 minutes package to call the other side of world got it they have thousands of users who can probably buy that this product so they just picked up number they have did a uh, uh, call to everyone and ask would they like to choose this product and yeah definitely everyone wants to have a chat with their uh, near ones with a very small amount of money and they choose it right so see very short within a day they have earned billions believe me and that were all because of data warehouse they just queried how many people got a call or did they call to other side of world except India got it yeah.